Hey everyone, how's it going? I am back again with another pick a card reading. Today's reading is gonna be all about you. We are gonna find out what are some of your gifts, what are some of your talents, why are you here, what's your life purpose? You have 11 options here. I want you guys to observe each of these numbers and stones and see which one really calls out to you. I have to say that I pulled a lot of cards for this reading, so I'm super excited about it. So while you guys decide, I do wanna announce that I still have exclusive pick a card readings going on on my Patreon and on my Instagram. So if you love these pick a card readings and you wanna see more, go ahead and check that out. And guys, it really does support me and my channel. And thank you guys so much for supporting me on here as well let's just hop right into the reading and find out why are you here what's your life purpose what's your gifts what's your talent all right option number one so if you chose option number one let's see what's going on so all right so my option number one people it's funny that the one pile was a little bit isolated so I kind of feel like you guys are loners but the card that came out first is you guys are spiritual teachers you are, um, you guys have the ability to counsel and help others and help people with their spiritual gifts. So I feel like that is your guys' main focus. And I have to say that I know my channel, I know my viewers, and a lot of you guys, if not 90% of you guys, are light workers with spiritual gifts in some way. I always say your vibe attracts your tribe. So if I'm teaching spirituality, chances are a lot of you guys are as well. And I always tell people, like, you don't have to have a spiritual job to teach spirituality. You can bring spirituality into any field, you know, including therapy or medicine or whatever. So I always want to let you guys know that you don't have to follow a traditional spiritual path to be a spiritual teacher or to have a calling as a spiritual teacher. And a lot of people don't realize that your life purpose is multidimensional. It's not just one way. And I always like to teach people that, you know, just because you go to school for one thing doesn't mean that's your whole identity. You know, us humans are creative, we're flexible, we're artists, you know, and, and I feel like we need to have a little bit of adaptability when it comes to what we consider our life purpose. If you guys ask me what my life purpose is, I still, I still say I'm not really sure, but I love helping people and that's the direction I'm always going in. So yeah, you guys are very powerful and I feel like you've always been very powerful people and you almost like intimidate people with your power. You guys have a lot of spiritual power and you guys are just like, I feel like you're used to just like trying to blend in, but... Just like that number one pile sticking out from the rest of the group, you guys have a hard time blending in. So just let yourself stand out and, and be yourself. Not everywhere is going to be a great fit for you, but you definitely have some leadership traits and it shows. Now, I'm also seeing for you guys that, you know, I feel like um, you have a hard time finding peace within yourself, but I feel like you help other people find peace. So the angels also want to assist you in finding your own peace. I'm also seeing a lion coming in as well. So you guys are very bold. You're very courageous. You may also have some Leo in your chart or some strong sun. Mars, Venus placement. I feel like it's just strong energy coming from strong Jupiter as well. Fire signs in those departments. I feel like you guys are headed towards victory. The more you, the more you provide leadership for yourself and others, the more you're going to be successful. So if you guys are struggling with a career or you're struggling with just finding your place in the world, the way to go is your own way. And I'm really seeing that as a scenario for you guys. And it's just so important for you guys to be yourself. I know it's really hard sometimes, guys, to really kind of stand out. Believe me, I never fit in growing up, and I really hated that. I tried it as much as I could, but I just couldn't, you know? And I feel like that's because I was meant to be a leader. I wasn't meant to be part of a particular group. And I feel like you guys will go through those motions as well. Now, you guys definitely have um, gifts, especially like animal guides, spirit guides, um, angels. You guys definitely have gifts of reading omens and signs, maybe even interpreting tarot, all that kind of stuff. I feel like some of you guys may actually read oracle cards for yourself or others, even for fun. You don't realize all those little bits of inspiration and interpretation actually really do help other people, including yourself. So yeah, your, your spirit guides are offering you guidance and you guys are seeing signs and omens and I'm definitely feeling animal guides spirit guides like you guys are seeing birds you're seeing you're seeing you know animals and it's really calling to you some of you guys might even be like drawn towards googling you know why did I see this animal in my dream you know what's this totem mean like you guys are trying to understand the signs the omens and honestly go with your first gut feeling because I feel like you do have that gift now I'm also seeing for you guys that yeah um you guys really do have a gift of having um, unconditional and pure love that you give to others. So I really do feel like you guys have big hearts and I feel like you'll, that will never change. Another thing I see for you guys is the magician here coming in. So you guys are excellent manifestors. I feel like this is some kind of skill that you had, you know, brought into this lifetime that you might notice that if you want something bad enough, it happens. And I feel like that is part of your calling. You guys are also probably teaching people about manifestation as well. You might just be talking to your friends. Hey, have you heard about the law of attraction? They're like, no, what's that? Like, you know, you might be stopping people if they say like, you know, something negative. Be like, hey, don't put that out there. You know, I feel like that might be your personality. You've always been that way. You've always understood the energy that our thoughts and words carry. And I feel like, yeah, you guys are magicians and 
you might be discovering that right now. You make things happen with that energy. So yeah, I see that. The other thing I see for you guys, you guys are warriors. Like I said before, I see strong, you know, placements in your chart that indicate that you're very strong. You might have even been a warrior or a soldier in your past life. I feel like you guys, um, you know, might have had a past life where you've given your life for a cause. Uh, I feel like um, I don't see a lot of um, you guys backing down, you know, which is good. I, I see you guys maybe hiding, dimming your light or, or hiding out or just kind of being introverted. But I, I really see when you guys believe in something, nothing is going to stop you. So channel that into your energy more. We got the white witch card as well. People always joke around with me when they see my YouTube channel. Alice, are you a witch? I'm like, no, I don't associate with that, you know, but I would say, yeah, I'm a white witch. If you guys really needed to know, wow, that's the second time that we saw an owl here in this reading. So I'm really feeling like you guys may have an owl spirit guide or you guys are really wise or intuitive and you may have a connection to owls as well as butterflies. But I feel like, yeah, you guys understand that manifesting, you know, with great power, you know, be like it has great responsibility guys and you may notice that people do not use these type of powers for good and that's why you know there is um you know the negativity towards witchcraft but i feel like you guys know how to use your powers the right way the positive way and you guys don't believe in using it for the negative senses you might might stray away from um videos or you guys might not like content that that require oh like love spells this and that you guys don't believe in that you believe in you know hard work i always tell everybody 50 percent physical 3d work and 50 percent you know law of attraction you got to put in that that effort as well and you guys are warriors and, and and you're also you know spiritual so you combine those energies you guys are go-getters at the end of the day you realize if you want something yeah fate destiny whatever go out there and get it as well so i see for you guys yeah you guys definitely have a lot of direction you have a lot of um you have a lot of guides animal guides and um angels around you i feel like you guys know this so you trust that you know you will be led to the right direction and i'm also seeing that yeah see so much fire energy coming in you guys definitely know how to ignite passion in others and i feel like yeah you could invoke love hate feelings towards people because your energy is so unique and you're so bold that you know that's why you're afraid of standing out i feel like because you know, people will give you love energy or hate energy and you're just like, oh, whoa, I, I didn't see that coming. Why, why, why me, you know? But I feel like just because people are threatened by your power, by your energy, and honestly, I feel like you guys definitely are extremely powerful. So I feel like, you know, you guys are going to receive some sort of recognition for the help, um, for the change that you bring into the world. And I feel like that is going to have something to do with your destiny. You will be known for something. You will have a following or you will, not that that's at your intention, but people are going to know you for some kind of change that you make into the world. And I feel like you guys believe this. You, you know, you have a destiny and I, I do see this coming in strong. And not only that, you guys really help young people, people younger than you. Um, you guys are great mentors. You may even attract a lot of mentors in your life. Guys, I can't even tell you how many friendships I've had that I was really like a mentor. And I honestly love it. Like I can, I would never trade those experiences for the world. I, I love helping people reach their goals, reach their potential. It's like sometimes you struggle with just wanting things for people more than they want it for themselves. And that's when you know when to let something go. So I do see you guys helping and nurturing, motivating, whatever category you're passionate about even people older than you because you know sometimes your soul might be older or you might be more wise and that's okay you can help people of any age group and i'm seeing that you guys may have some aquarius in your chart as well or some taurus you could also you know like i said before be any fire sign sagittarius leo aries but i'm really seeing sagittarius energy as well for you guys but i'm seeing leo energy as well but honestly aquarius could also be like part of your mission you guys are humanitarian and i also feel like you guys are really good at defending what's yours and you really do want to acquire some kind of um you know substantial finances and stuff like that in your lifetime and i feel like you will i'm also feeling a lot of you guys are moving towards becoming more material people to more spiritual people so i feel like the advice for you guys or some of the karma you may be dealing with is like you know steering away from materialism and moving towards you know humanitarianism and i feel like that is your calling because you guys really can make money and manifest when you try but you guys realize that you know money or fame or superficial things are just a dark hole you, you know it gets bigger and bigger cannot fill the void inside people's hearts but you know when you do for others and you're living your purpose that's the only way that you guys are going to find true happiness and i feel like this is part of your calling and I'm seeing that, you know, it's not that you're not going to have money. It's that you guys are going to constantly say no to things that could be, um, you know, some kind of financial opportunity or, you know, but it's just not going to align with your goals, with your value. And people are going to see that. They're going to see like, you know what, that's integrity. And you guys have integrity. And I see this. Jupiter is here. So, yeah, you, you guys definitely have the feeling you're going to be somebody. You're going to have success. And, yeah, financial success is definitely part of, you know, it's just going to come naturally, guys. The angels are going to take care of you. 
But I feel like, yeah, you guys definitely are very generous. The more generous you are, the more generosity is going to come towards you. So you could be releasing some of that energy, that fear. Um, you guys might be holding back a little bit, that generosity. But I feel like that is part of your calling. And I feel like with the Nine of Swords here, yeah, you guys definitely have suffered a lot of anxiety in your life. You know, I do feel like you could have dealt with, you know, a lot of tough situations that were out of your control, but the universe will send you into certain situations in order for you to learn to grow. And that's what makes a true leader. I don't know any leader that hasn't been through something on their own where they had to find their way out of it. Believe me, guys, I know what it's like to want help so badly and not know what direction to turn in. But, you know, you guys are definitely going to go through that or you've got have gone through that. But that's that's what makes a great leader. That's what makes a great, you know, whatever it is that you guys want to go after. Exactly. Because we all have a unique path at the end of the day. Most of all, you guys are hard workers. Like I said before, there's some earth in this chart. There's some fire. Um, there's there's everything going on here. But logically speaking, you guys say, you know what? I manifest. I believe I'm spiritual. But at the end of the day, let's look at the facts. I'm going to work hard for my goals. And I'm going to work hard for the people I care about. And I'm going to make a difference. And you guys work extremely hard. And that's part of your life purpose. Your hard work is going to pay off. And I see coins and coins and coins coming in. So you guys, you guys are definitely very mystical. I do feel like you guys definitely have... Um, a spiritual wealth to you. And remember, um, I was talking to you guys about that karma of figuring out material wealth versus spiritual wealth. And they may feel the same, but they're very different. You guys are already very wealthy. And I feel like that's why you may attract people who are a little jealous or who don't understand you. But yeah, you guys are extremely wealthy in spirit and you will attract wealth in your life just because of your energy. And I feel like with the king here, you guys may have even had a past life where you're a king. Once again, we're in that Leo energy, but you guys, um, you know, you will powerfully lead your mission. I feel like you guys are very passionate, you're, you're courageous, and you won't step down from inspiring and helping others. And I feel like this is part of your path, no matter what field that you go into. And I'm seeing life coaching, I'm seeing motivation, I'm seeing fitness, I'm seeing health, I'm seeing, you know, spiritual teaching, you know, YouTube, um, media, on anything, whatever. It's more about, it's not about what you're doing, it's about how you're doing it. Even leading a corporation or, or you know, even being a head of uh, some kind of group or, or anything like that. I feel like you guys, it doesn't matter. You guys are multi talented doesn't matter what field you go in you're just going to be able to help people no matter what but focus more on the spiritual less on the material guys that's my advice but of course you're always going to be a little bit in the material world because you know you guys are um you guys understand that that material um wealth is also important that's money is power i got i get it and you guys also will advocate for something you care about and you guys um i feel like you guys will stand up for things you care about and that will cause you that will give you great um, anxiety, but it also give you great success. I feel like um, you guys will be known for standing up for something that maybe other people don't agree with at first. I kind of see that you guys have strong opinions and you're hiding it out. You're waiting for the right time to advocate for the things that you care about. But yeah, you guys definitely are humanitarian. Again, we're seeing this word opinionated, rebellious. You guys are champions. You're, you're not here to, um, you know, you're not here to just be quiet, guys. You're definitely here to make a difference somehow, some way. So let's see what else is going on here. You guys have a gift of perseverance. You know, never want to give up. You guys really do what you do for others. And you really do sometimes doubt your ability to make this, make your impression on the world. And I feel like you can. But the first thing you guys have to deal with is balancing out yourself. Because dealing with all that energy inside of you, you might jump from one extreme to the other. And you guys, the more balanced you are, the more powerful you are. And once again, we're getting this courageousness. So you guys are extremely brave. But sometimes you got to be patient and know when to strike. And you guys definitely are very disciplined when you have your mindset on a goal. I also feel like you guys may have to go through a lot of painful transformations in your lifetime. You know, maybe you guys are dealing with some grief, some loss. But you know what? These changes are going to bring you exactly where you need to be. And at the end of the day, you're going to surrender to that fate, to that destiny, that calling that you know that you're meant to do. It's going to just align the way that it needs to. So that's what I see for my option number one, people. Told you guys it's going to be a long reading, but I hope that helped resonated. Leave me a little comment below if you guys like this reading, if you like these types of readings. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Do your thing, option number one. Get your hustle on. All right, option number two. If you chose option number two, let's see what's going on. What's your gifts? What's your destiny? All right, here we go. Well, we got Archangel Raphael coming in. Guys, this is my favorite angel for those that don't know. He's the angel of health, but I also feel like he helps us with our relationships because every single aspect of our lives could affect our health. He helps us with everything, our animal's health, our own health, also our mental health. Believe me, guys, this is a serious, serious angel when it comes to healing. If you need any help, call upon Archangel Raphael. He's got your back. All the green in the reading says that he's here today helping us out, and he's helping you guys 
heal any kind of physical challenges that you may have but i'm also getting you guys have this angel at your side as well because i do feel like you have the ability to help others and it may not be that you can read uh, physical health because i know i'm not even the best at that but i'm definitely good at helping people mentally spiritually emotionally and that also is health guys and i'm also seeing that you guys are being led towards an answered prayer right now so i feel like some of you guys are still trying to figure out what your life purpose is so just be patient right now you guys are still in that process of remembering who you are but you do have this clear um cognizance uh can i say this word like clear clear recognizance <laughs> Why can't I say this word today? You guys know the drill. Um, pay attention to your thoughts and ideas that come to you. Clear recognition going on here. Yes, um, they are answered prayers. I don't know. I can never say that word right. But you guys, this is actually my strongest gift. Funny enough that I can't even say it right. You know, besides some other things. But um, I just get like thoughts and ideas. I just know. And I feel like you guys know what's right for people. You know the right things to say and do. So just trust that energy. And I feel like, yeah, this will bring you a lot of peace. The more you trust that ability to just know. I feel like you guys are meant to be married to somebody, and I'm seeing this come in. Um, this person you're meant to marry also is involved in health, healing, helping others. I do see this coming in strong. One way or another, they love helping. You might meet this person in the springtime. They could be born in the spring, or you could be born in the spring. Or springtime is just always a really good time of year for you. I feel like you guys definitely are really motivated. Once you have a goal, you guys know how to go right after it. So I feel like right now, you might be trying to figure out, you know, what is your main goal here? So I feel like you guys, you might be put in a lot of strange situations, but I feel like you guys are very optimistic and you know how to make the best out of every situation that you're in. So I see for you guys that you do have a great gift of communication. I said before, like being able to say the right things at the right time. Maybe you're charming, you're flirty, like you know how to get what you want out of people. And I feel like you can use that for good. You got Jupiter here. You guys will definitely be using this healing energy you have, this gift of healing through your work, through communicating with others. You're going to be using that alongside you know your angels and i feel like this is going to be really positive for you you guys can really you guys are really honest um we got the owl here you're very wise i feel like you guys i see a lot of wings going in here you guys could see things from a higher perspective and i feel like that's a great talent to have we got king of cups you guys are very emotionally mature i feel like you don't like to just cause drama to cause drama you actually really do believe in powerful friendships you believe in being friends before lovers you guys believe in friendships. I know that's like corny, but I feel like you guys are great friends. You're very loyal. You're very honest. And I also feel like, you know, as chaotic as your life could be full of ups and downs, you guys have a stability to you. You never forget who you are. And I feel like that's also one of your talents. And I feel like you guys could have some Libra in your chart or you're just very fair. You believe in good karma, doing good on others. You guys work hard. Even if life is a mess around you, you work hard to keep that inner balance, which is great. You guys could have some areas in your chart as well. I'm seeing that, you know, Neptune is here. You guys don't really see sometimes clearly what direction your life is going in, but you will be taken care of. Don't worry about that. I see for you guys that a lot of it has to do with accepting some of the things in life that you can't change, and I feel like that's going to help you out with your past. I feel like you guys may have a little bit of fear um, moving forward, but all this has to do with your purpose. Like, I feel like you guys know what you want to do. You know what you're here to do. So don't let all these little things that go on around you distract you. And I feel like relation, your, yeah, your relationship does, like, your relationships or your friendships or, you know, the people that are around you, both good and bad karmic situations, this has to do with your purpose. Like, your purpose is helping and healing through your relationship. So it may not even be your official job that may be in the healing field, but it could just be that you find that you're healing and helping people through your relationships and your learning. So that's part of your purpose. So don't be afraid of, you know, if something is challenging or you can't change, you might learn like that there's certain people in life that you can't change. They are who they are, you know, and I feel like that could be some karma you guys are dealing with. So you guys are head towards success. I do see this coming in strong. Congratulations, guys. You actually do have a lot of success under your belt as is. And I feel like you guys are pretty good at managing your time. You guys may be having a lot of lists, to-do list. And like I said before, it says don't allow distractions to, you know, affect your life i feel like you have a lot of distracting people around you that's part of your purpose so i feel like either that's an advice for you guys don't allow distractions to distract you from your main goals also i feel like a lot of you guys just know how to block out things that no longer serve you and i feel like that's also part of what you're learning and what you're becoming very good at and what you're teaching other people about so i also feel like you guys may have vision boards or like to make vision boards you guys definitely have a vision for your future and i feel like these images are gonna like relate down the line to the things you end up doing. So if you create a vision board, you know, even put it up there, put it away and you're going to see years and years later that you're, these things are part of your purpose. So if you're feeling a little lost, confused right now, start with the vision board. I'm actually going to make a new one. It's been like almost two years since I made my, not my first one, but I made one two years ago and I started my YouTube channel shortly after. So 
I feel like they are um, substantial. Vision boards, I believe in them 100%. And they also help inspire you. Even if you're not believing in them 100%, like, they help inspire you when you see the things that you want to manifest in your life. And I really feel like inspiration is the, uh, I have like a thing on my wall that says, the greatest gift you can give someone is inspiration. And at the end of the day, I'm not here to tell you your future or how to live your life. I'm here to inspire you guys to reach your goals. And that's all I really believe in. I mean, I believe in what I do, but I mean, like, that's all I really believe that, that's all I want to do to help you guys. As long as I'm inspiring, that's what I'm trying to say. Oof, all right. But I believe in, like, you know, all the stuff that I do as well. All right, you guys get what I'm saying. Yeah, you guys definitely, the main reason why you may not know exactly where you're going is because you're actually meant to set your goals higher, like dream bigger. Like you guys maybe are a little too practical, like allow yourself to really dream. Like what, what is the life you really want for yourself? I feel like you guys also with the trader here, you might be um, involved in merchant merchandising or selling goods or selling something you're creating. Or I feel like you guys um, definitely have a gift of negotiation. I even see some of you guys uh, in the legal field, law, like I don't know why, but I'm feeling like. Get the communication, helping people, um, you know, selling something, selling items, selling yourself, selling an idea. Like, all these things um, are part of your purpose. I feel like also we got the medicine mother. So, yeah, we're actually talking about actual health right now. Of course, we have the health angel here. So, you guys actually have a gift. You may be in the medical field as well. So, of course, we're talking about healing and you might end up doing that. Or you guys have a gift of essential oils or, you know, massaging or, you know, just knowing, like, the right formula to help somebody with something, you know, herbal remedies, or even actual being a doctor for some of you guys could be down a goal down the line, which is awesome. And I feel like with the moon here, yeah, you guys have a connection to the moon. And I feel like you could have water in your chart as well. So, you know, you guys definitely have a connect. Like I see a lot of imagery with nighttime, you guys may come alive in the nighttime, you may have an affinity to, um, you know, nighttime energy. And I feel like, yeah, the best way you guys can go is to trust the universe. Don't regret anything that happened in the past. Everything happens for a reason. Just continue to be your honest self, guys. I feel like you may be hard on yourself because you feel like you may be too brutally honest to people. But you know what? It's not your fault people are in denial about who they are. And I feel like just forgive people and let go because I do see that a lot of you guys do have a lot of pride. Or you're just running to a lot of people who have a lot of pride. But don't worry about that, guys. I feel like with the Six of Cups here, a lot of people love and appreciate you. And I do see that, you know, there's a lot of childish people around you. But they also look up to you. So that's part of your life purpose. And that's what I see for my option number two people all right let's move on to option number three let's find out what is going on oops drop my cards all right let's see what's going on right now what's your life purpose guys what are some of your gifts what's your talent what's your personality all right so <clears throat> those that chose option number three you guys are really smart. I see you may even be in school right now. You guys um, in, you guys really do believe in uh, schooling, studying, education. You believe that knowledge is power. And I feel like knowledge is going to help you guys on your path as well. And I'm also feeling like you guys are um, very spiritual. I feel like you will be met with a lot of temptations in life. I feel like you're going to mix with a lot of different people and learn a lot of lessons through, um, you know, relationships. I'm seeing this for my number three people on um, I'm also seeing that you guys um, also may be interested in yoga and exercise. So working out and fitness may also be something that piques your guys' interest, has something to do with your path. And I feel like you guys also, some of you guys may actually um, have a gift of mediumship as well because I'm seeing that your loved ones from beyond are trying to pass on a message to you. Or for some of you guys, you may have been dealing with some loss. And this reading is just trying to tell you that your loved ones are looking after you on the other side. So I'm seeing that you guys, yes, part of your life purpose has to do with taking excellent care of yourself um, I do feel like you guys um, want to be in tip-top shape, and that really does have to do with your life purpose. I'm also seeing for you guys that, yeah, you definitely need to just follow your heart. Following your heart is going to be the best for you guys. And, oh my god, healthy lifestyle. See, we're talking all about this. we got Archangel Raphael coming again. Eat a healthy diet, get adequate, adequate sweet, adequate sleep, ex exercise. Yes, this could be a message for you guys that, like, if you're starting a fitness thing, this is for you. And I feel like... You guys believe in eating healthy. You guys believe in all that stuff. Um, you guys have very sensitive bodies. Um, maybe you may be allergic to a lot of things or you're understanding how food and certain things affect your system. So you guys definitely are going to connect with um, your, your inner temple. And I feel like you might be in some sort of field that involves, you know, teaching people about health and fitness. Now, I'm also seeing that you guys, um, you know, set your intentions well. And you, you, when you guys have a goal, there's nothing you can do to stop you. You guys might be going through a transformation right now. You might be really good at just saying goodbye to old things that no longer serve you. 
A lot of you guys also have a gift or affinity to music. Like, I feel like this could help you reach your goals. I know, like, when I get my readings, like, when I start to set up for my readings, I put music on or, you know, in the morning, it helps motivate me or when I'm at the gym. Like, I really have an affinity to music. You guys may have that as well. Like, music really just makes your day. And I feel like you guys could be musicians as well. Like, music, music has something to do with your purpose. Like, I feel like you guys are music lovers and you're very passionate about music. And you guys need to trust that, like, you know, the universe will lead the way, God will lead the way, angels will lead the way for you. So, yeah, you guys are definitely very tough. I do see there's a lot of imagery of you guys just not, like, just, just making sure that nobody messes with you. I feel like you guys are stepping into your power. And I do see, like, you guys are warriors in your own way. And I feel you guys could be born in winter or winter time is a good time for transformation for you. And you guys definitely are learning how to take care of your own needs. Part of your life purpose is actually self-care, taking care of yourself, treating your body right, treating your soul right. And I feel like you guys definitely are, you know, taking charge of your life. I feel like you guys may fall into some sort of leadership role, mentorship role, you know, motivational role. I definitely feel like you guys are going to be in charge of some sort of something in your lifetime for sure. And I feel like you guys are definitely... You care about the earth, you care about the environment, and you care about, you know, healing and helping others. Look at all this green coming in here. So I feel like you guys might be into herbal remedies or healing or helping. Um, again, we have Health Angel coming in again. So I feel like you guys definitely care about the earth, you care about the environment. You may have an affinity to nature. A lot of you guys need to be living out in nature. Cities are not probably for you. I feel like you guys are like to be outside exercising, you know, just even if it's not even like, you know, hardcore, like bodybuilding, it could just be you love going out for walks, eating healthy, you know, and you love to encourage other people. Hey, let's go for a walk. Let's do something healthy. You know, I see this as part of your purpose. You guys believe in keeping the peace as well. I do see that for you guys. I, do, I feel like you guys don't like to really rock the boat too much. You will stand up for yourself. I do feel like a lot of your energy is defense. Like if someone comes after you, yeah, you're going to defend yourself. You're going to defend your loved ones. But I don't see you guys going out of your way to start a fight. Like really not your style. But you like to keep the peace and you will put your sword down, you know, if you need to. That's a, um, trying to like use a metaphor over here we with this little shield, you know. That's what I see. I see defensive energy, but not in a bad way. You guys are just willing to defend what's yours, you know. And I see you guys have a gift of journaling as well. So or you need to start journaling. That can really help you out. And I feel like a lot of you guys are extremely inspiring. And that will lead you to some sort of um, celebrity status, possibly a following of some kind. You know, you could be on any platform, YouTube, you know, Instagram, uh, Facebook, whatever. I feel you guys could really stand out or you're just known in your town or known like where you are. Like you guys just stand out. You guys are bright like the sun. You have bright, positive, inspiring energy. And, and maybe go back to just inspiring people to reach their goals. So I see, you know, you guys are really good at visualizing, you know what, you, you know where you want to be. So, you know, I also feel like a lot of you guys have a great singing voice because we see the moon coming in. I always see this card and this girl really looks like she's singing. So I feel like you guys have an amazing singing voice or you just have a talent for music or an affinity to music. Again, I see music notes coming in. Queen of Wands, you guys are hot. Like people want to, they want to be you. They want to look like you. I feel like you guys may have some fire in your chart. Like you guys are smoking hot. Like people think you're hot. Like that's all I got to say about that. And I see for you guys, yeah. A lot of sexual energy coming out of you. So I definitely feel like you guys have a lot of admirers. But you're trying to find someone who with substance who understands you for who you are. But yeah, you guys definitely like people will tell you you're hot. Like you guys know that. And if they're not telling you, then they definitely thinking it. Venus is here. So you guys definitely attract lovers very easily. And I feel like you guys just like you use. Yeah, you may have some cancer in your chart as well. Or maybe you attract a lot of cancers. But I feel like, yeah, you guys definitely are really nurturing to others. And there's a side of you that is really healing and motherly as well. So I feel like all that energy is going to have to do with your life purpose. And I do see people like falling in love with you very easily. So the last advice I'll leave you guys with is staying true to yourself. Don't compromise or water down your ideas. Listen to trust and follow your inner voice. That is going to get you exactly where you need to be. And I'm seeing you guys just have to be grateful for everything that you've built so far. And yes, you guys are empaths. So, you know, even though you're always defending your energy, you guys may have a rise in cancer. I rise in cancer, so I understand. You might be very sensitive, putting on that hard shell, trying to defend yourself. At the end of the day, you know your intention, which is to help people with their health. Again, health is coming in. And this will lead you to abundance, guys. And I'm seeing that also you guys have a great sense of humor. You guys are hilarious. So I can see why that people would like to follow you or listen to what you have to say. And don't be indecisive about what you want, guys. 
And yeah, there is people out there who are jealous of you, but I feel like it's because they're indecisive about their own life and they don't really know what direction um, they want to head in. And because you guys have a clear direction or you guys seem to have a clear direction and you're hot and you have your life together and people are in love with you, you know, people are, you're going to invoke some jealousy into others. But you know what? They need to live and let live. You know, it's not really your problem. You've been through your, your fair share of failures. You're not afraid to go after your goals and you guys will end up happy. And don't worry about what the haters got to say, guys. And that's all I got to say about option number three. Thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this reading leave me a comment if you love it all right moving along all right let's go to option number four option number four let's see what's going on let's see who are you what's your life purpose what are some of your gifts what are some of your talents all righty so so right off the bat you guys are light workers so yes i'll read this to you so you need to know you are a light worker. God needs you to shine your divine light in love like an angel upon the earth and all its inhabitants. All right, guys, you're light workers. You probably knew this already, but yes, you are here to shine light, to shine love. And yes, it is hard being a light worker, but you guys know that, you know, it has its ups and downsides. You guys will, will receive some sort of victory coming in. You guys are winners. And you guys definitely need to keep up the good work, no matter what it is that you're going through right now. See a unicorn over here, you're very unique souls. And I do see you need to embrace that. So, yes, I feel like you guys are very good at looking at other people's point of views. And I feel like that's really going to help you bring victory in your life. And I feel like you guys really have an important life purpose that involves communication and the arts. So don't let insecurities hold you guys back. You guys have some sort of a, a communication or artistic talent. And, you know, you guys are also very sensitive. So, you know, I feel like you guys can counsel and help others through this art, through this talent of yours. And you guys will probably end up changing your career a few times in your lifetime till you find that right fit. But I feel like it's part of like riding the waves of life. Like my, I have 10th house, my midhaven is Pisces. And part of that is just like going from one thing to the other, trusting your creative abilities. And yes, I change my jobs a lot. Like other people may find that concerning or like not stable. But for me, I just know when it's time to go. And you guys know that as well. Like certain things you're going to outgrow very fast. You guys know what to do. Trust your own inner voice, guys. And you guys, yes, again, you're unique souls. So, you know, you guys might even be involved in fashion eventually or something about your individuality, something about, you know, hair, makeup. I don't know why I'm just seeing, like, something about you or maybe it's just part of your path. Like, you guys may not have a job, but you, like, pertain to that, but maybe you just always like to stand out and you don't even mean to. And it really makes people, oh, wow, I want to look like that. You know, I want to be original like that. So yeah, I feel like you guys need to learn in your life or you have been learning or you are this way. Standing tall and maintaining your dignity. People will treat you with respect, guys. You just need to keep standing tall and that's what I see for you. And I feel like you guys have been challenged. Like people have disrespected you in your lifetime and you're like, you've been challenged by that energy but you learn how to step into your power that way. And I feel like you guys um, have a connection with water. You know, I feel like a lot of you guys want to live at a beach near water. I feel like water's very cleansing so you guys may... Um, since you're very sensitive, you could have other people's energy on your aura a lot. So make sure you bathe or shower or sage or wear protective crystals or go to the beach and cleanse your energy. I feel like a lot of you guys will be living around the water or near the water at some point in your life. You need that energy. I feel like you guys definitely, with the fox here, you guys definitely have business smarts. You guys are very intelligent and you have great instincts. So trust that. I'm also seeing for a lot of you guys that... Yeah, oh my gosh, you see how we have the stag and we have the elk? Look at these horns. So you guys definitely, um, I wouldn't mess with you, you know what I mean? You guys definitely know how to stand in your power. And you guys know how to trust, trust again. It's saying trust two times. So you guys trust your instincts. Like, other people don't get it. They don't get it, you know? They don't get why you, you're so trusting of your own instincts. Because it got you this far, right? So that's what I see for you guys. And you guys are a great teacher. You guys really do teach and help others very well. You're natural at it. And I feel like you guys definitely... You know what? I feel like you guys do know how to shake things up. Like, if you need to make a change in your life, I feel like you don't really care what people think. You don't care what people say. And that's great. I'm also seeing that you guys, again, you have some sort of artistic talent you need to share with the world. So, it's time to allow your, your creative gifts to shine, guys. I'm also seeing that, yes, you guys have a gift of speaking out. Speaking up. Telling people off, I even heard. You guys can really tell someone off. Um, you have important messages to help others, though. So, if you got something to say, guys, say it. Obviously, you know... Be honest, but compassionate, not harsh. You know, just try to be a little more compassionate. And I feel like you may be brutally honest sometimes. Um, you guys may be earth signs. I'm seeing a lot of earth energy come in as well, air as well. You guys also need to allow yourself to receive. You have a hard time being vulnerable. So you guys are very unique. Um, 
and your your leaders and you're very strong will we got leo coming in here as well you could have fire um air whatever earth and your child, doesn't matter but you guys have a hard time receiving because you have a hard time being vulnerable so i feel like if somebody wants to give to you don't be so quick to push them away like you know just because you're so used to being in, in control and in power doesn't mean that you can't let somebody else help you out you know because you guys are pretty exhausted you will take on other people's burdens easily and do a better job than half of them or all of them but doesn't mean that you don't need to receive in your own life you know and I feel like for a lot of you guys, you have a really playful, intuitive, fun side. And don't forget about that side because you guys are extremely adorable. And I feel like you're actually really cute. Like your physical appearance is adorable. Like people think you're adorable, even though you think you're big, bad, and tough. Like there's a side of you that's really cute. And I feel like really innocent and pure. So never lose that, guys. I do see creativity really strong in you. And I'm also seeing that you guys, you know, could love to dance or sing or do playful things or play games, like play video games, like do do playful fun things. Like, I, I don't know, play outside. Like, I just feel like you guys have a little inner child. You love playing with children. Um, don't, never forget that. And I feel like for you guys, you work well in groups and with others. And I feel like you may forget about that because you like take on every burden. But I feel like you will, per you will actually thrive when you let people help you out. And people want to help you out. Maybe not at first in life. You had to learn to go at it alone, but... There's people out there who really do want to help you out. We got the magician here. You guys are excellent manifestors, great talkers, very charming. And we got the merchant here, Mercury. So you guys can really open doors and opportunities through your creative gifts. You're great at managing money. You're great at making money when you put your mind to it. And I see you guys have a vision for what you want your future to be. And your Jupiter is strong. So it means you're going to be successful in your life. So don't worry about that. See success. I said success and I pulled success. So as soon as you guys get your self-esteem where you need to be, then I know you're going to end up where you want to be. And I feel like don't be guilty about telling people off. That's part of your life purpose. Sometimes you got to tell people the truth so they can hear it, you know. Maybe they're not at peace with themselves. That's why they act the way they act. But most of all, you guys need to value your freedom. By being free, I mean stop taking on everyone's burdens. And that's where you're going to find the most growth. So that's what I have for my option number four, people. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. I hope you guys have a great day night. Leave me a comment. If you love this video, give me a thumbs up. All this kind of stuff. If you want to see more, make suggestions. You guys know the drill. All right, moving on. Option number five. Let's see. What are some of your gifts, some of your talents, your life purpose? Why are you here? What's going on? All right, my option number five, people. All right, all I got to say is your desired outcome is going to happen. So something you really want to happen is going to happen. And yeah, I feel like, yeah, it is definitely the time for you guys to start a new venture. You might be questioning it, but yeah, this is a message exactly for you guys. Five, the number of change. Yes, it's time to start a new venture. I also feel like you guys like are really falling in love with yourself. I don't know why, but this naked woman over here, she's like really feeling herself. And I feel like you guys like, yeah, you look good. You feel good and you guys should love yourself naked. All right, so I feel like, all right, so, hmm. Let's see what's going on here. I feel like you guys are very overprotective over people around you. And then I feel like, you know, you know warning signs of toxic behavior. And I feel like you guys, you guys may warn your friends or family, like, this person's no good. Blah, 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 and people might not get it. Like, they'll be like, um, you're being paranoid. You're overthinking. But no, you guys have a really natural mothering, fatherly, maternal instinct. Like, you guys know what's up. It's saying, you know, your children, you take care of your children. If you have children, you are very maternal. If you don't, you treat people like they're your own. You love, like, unconditionally, which is amazing. But... You guys definitely know warning signs like no other. You know when people are like are up to no good and you might be the first to mention it and you'll be like, no one will believe you, but then it happens and they're going to say, oh, you know what? You were right. You guys would definitely have a gift of creative writing and you guys have a gift of both teaching people the stuff that you've learned and you guys learn very unique things in your life. So I feel like you will be teaching something unique to other people. You guys definitely have an affinity to outdoors. So definitely get outdoors more. You guys may love the outdoors or care about the outdoors. And I feel like, you know, your angels are just saying hello, hello, because sometimes you guys don't see your angels very clearly or you get stuck in your head. So they're saying, hello, we're here. We want to help you out. And I feel like your loved ones also are there um, on the other side wanting to comfort, com not confront, okay, confront you. They want to confront you about something. Comfort you, I meant to say, but maybe they want to confront you like, hey, you know what? You're doing a great job, you know? Stop being so hard on yourself because... A lot of you guys have a hard time admitting your true feelings to yourself, you know? So get out in nature. Really connect with your emotions. And I feel like if you have some sort of creative gift of writing or something that can really help you connect with your emotions, maybe writing music or poetry or just journaling, you know? And I see that you guys, you guys have a great ability to act on opportunity. And I feel like you see opportunity in everything. So I feel you guys just like 
to stay positive, don't complain about situations, make changes. And I feel like that will bring you the greatest success. And you guys have a gift of love and light that you spread to others. Now we have a snake over here, and I always feel like that's not very positive, right? But uh, um, honestly, the snake is a good omen for what it's worth because what does a snake do? Snakes shed skin. And I feel like you guys are shedding skin and becoming who you're meant to be. But not only that, the snake shed skin more rapidly than probably a lot of other animals out there. So you guys will go through a lot of transformations in your life. You will change into different people. I mean, not different people, but more. You will change more like yourself, more into a better version of yourself. Maybe even sometimes like another person because you guys are willing to transform. Maybe you have no choice in the matter. Maybe you're just willing to make those changes that other people are not able to do. Maybe you enjoy changing. Maybe you enjoy improving your life. So yeah, you guys, maybe you're the type to say, to other people, stop complaining. Let's let's make changes, you know? Um, yeah, you guys have a high priest energy going on here. So you are very spiritual. You're very in touch with the nature realms. You know what the signs and the omens are trying to say. And I feel like you guys may love the movie Pocahontas. <laughs> I'm also seeing for you guys that, yeah, I've got a druid here. So, yeah, I really feel like there's some kind of affinity to nature here. And just that the fact that you guys know how to manifest. Um, you guys know how to use, like, natural things to manifest um, what you want in your life. And I also feel like you guys know how to use natural things to heal and help yourself and others. And I feel like, yeah, you guys have a great sense of rhythm. You could dance very well or you just really enjoy music. And I'm also seeing that you guys definitely might benefit by joining some sort of group like depending on like what you're interested in since i see drumming or you know just animal rights i'm seeing or you know creativity or even like even like i don't know why but this looks like they're playing jenga like i feel like it could possibly just be like a fun group where you guys hang out i don't know why but i feel like you guys are a great addition to any group this old guy over here make me feel like you guys are old souls but you do know how to be playful like, I feel like it's such a common misconception when people are like, oh, this person's such an old soul. Why? Because they're grumpy all the time and act like a grumpy old man. That doesn't mean someone's an old soul. Like, old souls are actually in touch with their inner child and know how to be playful. You know what I'm saying, guys? So you guys could be old souls. Um, Mars is here, so you guys are tough. You don't mess around. And you guys have great sense of communication as well. You guys know how to do and say the right things at the right time. Now, I feel like you guys are leaders or you're going to be stepping into a leadership role. And you guys are very honorable. I feel like you do believe in saying and doing the right things. And I feel like you guys are fast workers and you're hard workers. And the Ten of Cups is here. So you guys are going to manifest and bring into a, ha a happy, emotional, content life. Um, you guys will have a happy family one day. You will have all those things. Um, not without some, you know, failures, but that's okay. You know, I feel like you guys have been through hardship, but yeah, that's how you know how to help others. And you guys are really good at multitasking. You can really, really, really balance a lot of things very easily. And I also feel like you guys are very romantic at the end of the day. And there will be somebody romantically pursuing you. And I do see this coming in as I pulled the love card. So, yeah, you will have love in your life. Don't worry. But I also feel like you guys will have challenges when it comes to love and life and learning. And you guys will deal with some loneliness. But I feel like it, you guys are worried that you're going to be lonely forever. It's just not true, guys. Embrace that imagination. You're meant to go through those hardships in order to learn and grow. And I feel like... Yeah, you will be surprised how quickly things change in your life. Just focus on your goals, guys. And that's really going to help you end up exactly where you need to be. So that's my message for my option number five, people. All right, so we're going to move on to option number six. Option number six, let's see what's going on. Let's see who you are, what's your gifts, what's your talents, what's your life purpose. All righty, so... Yeah, you guys definitely want to bring stability, a happy home life into your life, and you will. I feel like you guys may be doing a lot of moves in your lifetime, or you may end up moving soon. I just see that energy around you. I feel like you guys definitely are really successful right now as is. Because it's saying that you are flying high right now, which may threaten others. Don't descend, because others will soon become inspired by your example. You guys would be stepping out into a new um, energy. I feel the fool's energy... Like, you guys know what I'm talking about, like, in tarot, like, you guys just know how to jump towards your goals, and people are kind of, like, hate on you for it, and they want to criticize you, but then they're they're actually going to be inspired by you, because I feel like they want to do what you can do. I feel like you guys are ending, like, a powerful, painful cycle in your life, so just keep it moving. You guys are really great at nurturing. You guys are really compassionate people, and I feel like you really do heal others at the heart, you know, and I feel like you guys have a clear sentience. You guys understand, you guys know other people's feelings. You have really strong gut feelings and you pick up on other people's emotions. And I also feel like you you know what people are thinking and feeling. Like it's a strong gift of yours. So you know when people are hurting as well. And you definitely could take on those um, energies if you're not careful. So you guys are very psychic. You're also very clairvoyant. I see like you guys kind of know what's going to happen next. You know if you take that leap of faith that 
it's gonna work out for you. Like you, you guys know what direction you'll probably be headed in. A lot of you guys um decide to go vegetarian or vegetarian on and off, or you just really like like just like you don't really like to eat animal meat stuff like that. I feel like that may be part of your life purpose, just because you are sensitive to energy. You're sensitive to um, animals' energy when you're eating them. So I feel like you know you guys might be partially vegetarian or full on vegan or something like that. Something to do with your path, and yeah, it has something to do with like the way you process energy, especially if you're clear sentient. Like. You know how sometimes in the, um, like, I'm not an animal activist, like, I, can't, I don't really do anything for it, but I, I do understand energy, so I'm not saying I'm not one, I do care about animals, but I'm saying, like, I'm not, like, a crazy vegan or anything like that, um, I mean, for those that are vegans out there, I'm not calling you guys crazy, how am I, what am I trying to say, okay, I understand energy, is what I'm trying to say, and I advocate for a lot of things, and I always tell people, like, yes, like, if you're very sensitive, the way they treat animals is very, um, unfair, especially, like, apparently in my country, which I live in the United States, so, um, if our animals are being tortured or treated badly and we're putting the energy into our body, yes, we're going to be able to feel a little off when we eat that energy, especially when we're going through awakenings or extra sensitive moments. So yeah, I do care about that. And I do say, and I try to advocate for it and be vegetarian as much as I can. So you guys may be in that same energy, no matter what the scale, you may care a little bit or you may care a lot, you know, but all of us have different things we advocate for, but I feel like, yeah, this is something that's coming through. So I'm just going to mention it. Or you guys just like to eat vegetarian because you naturally just feel better about it. I feel like you guys definitely have a connection to nature. You guys definitely stand out, and I feel like you will stand out in your in your lifetime for being unique and different. And I feel like, you know, a lot of you guys, um, you have a lot of imagery about you guys stepping out into the spotlight or, like, you know, just people are going to try to put you down because you stand out. And you know what? You may really feel really hurt right now because you feel like, you know, I don't have the energy for people to be putting me down like this. But you guys are a lot tougher than you think you are, and sometimes these challenges prove that to you. You're going to look back and be like, wow, like, I didn't handle it. I, I was so sensitive, but you know what? I realized they were just jealous or they just were putting me down because they were unhappy with themselves. And, you know, just see everything through the eyes of love, guys. And I feel like you try to be loving and compassionate, but not everybody is that way. So just kill them with kindness or stand up for yourself. Do what you got to do. Move forward. Wow, we got more imagery to nature. So you guys are my nature people. Mother Earth, you guys love to help people feel loved and comforted. And I feel like this is definitely a talent of yours. You guys have mothering energy, nurturing energy very mothering and also I feel like you guys are very attractive and you do attract a lot of people I just see this woman is so attractive um attractive body shape everything like that and you guys are very attractive people and your high priestesses as well and your hermits and your seers okay so you guys definitely know what's up so I see that you guys have gifts of just manifestation oh my gosh and I do feel like you guys have some sort of animal companion as well you have a gift definitely you have some sort of I uh, maybe you're not like Foley. Uh, okay, I do have a lot of animal imagery coming in now, but I feel like you guys love animals and um, you might have, you might understand that the animals carry energy as well and you might use your animals, like not in a manifest, like not like a ritual. I'm kind of saying like protective energy, like your animals have protective energy or some of you guys have an animal you love that's passed on. This animal bowl is with you in spirit. I'm also seeing that. And for those that advocate for animals, a lot of animals are with you in spirit because they love, they respect your energy of what you've done for them. And I'm also seeing for a lot of you guys that, yeah, you guys are hermits. Like, don't forget to retreat and re some of you guys might have Virgo in your chart. And I'm seeing you guys see everything. There is nothing you guys can't see. You do see beyond current situations. So, you know, if people are giving you a hard time, you guys are seeing it for what it is. And do not let that negativity get to you. Have confidence in your creations, guys. Have confidence in the things that you've created. Again, we got a cat coming in here. You guys definitely have some sort of cat companion, you know, right now, like, or, you know, that have passed on. But again, we're getting cat. You guys might have cat as a spirit animal. I'm seeing a lot of cats around you. Wow. Okay. So you guys have some good news coming in. Again, we started with good news. We're ending with good news. And yeah, just keep living your truth, guys. Oh my gosh. I said Virgo and voila, we got Virgo here. So you guys probably have Virgo in your chart somewhere. Or you just love being alone. You love learning and you love just seeing beyond, uh, like, what you guys what other people can see. You guys can see things before other people see them. And I'm seeing for you guys with the sun energy, you, you're you very bright, you're very vibrant. And I do feel like you guys are willing to make the changes you need to in your life. I feel like you guys are willing to kind of break down people's ideas of what they thought something is. And I feel like you guys may talk to people about things you're passionate about in order to make changes. And you guys are well studied on the things that you believe in. And I feel like you guys are going through a transformation right now. You guys might be ending up toxic situations. I feel like you're meant to end toxic situations. You're you're meant to, you know, end some bad cycles, bad patterns in, in other people's lives or in your own life. And yeah, you're gonna be bright, you're gonna be having some opposition because some people just don't want to change. They don't want to grow. But you guys are great communicators and you're a great artist and you also are very charming and you're very beautiful and people just really love you for who you are. 
you have a gift of, of communicating with people through the arts or even just through speeching, speeching, talking. You inspire people easily, guys. And you realize that your words have power, so you choose your words wisely. I feel like you guys, there's not nothing that you guys say that you're going to take back. Like, maybe you might overthink it, but... You guys, when you guys say something, you mean it. You don't just talk to talk. You guys know your shit. So that's what I feel. You're very well studied. And that's what I'm getting. You guys are empaths. And I feel like just be grateful for these gifts that you guys have. And that's what I see for my option at number six, people. You're all about helping others, guys. And I do see that you may be frustrated with your finances right now. But you're going to realize very soon and have a lot of clarity about where you're going. And I feel like, you know, you are meant to struggle financially at certain points so you can transform and see the true value of money and I feel like once you guys are more balanced then you're going to know exactly that slow and steady wins the race you may have some Capricorn energy in you or a lot of earth energy and you guys are slowly achieving that success that you really want you're just not really seeing it right now but you guys are definitely you definitely affect people with your words you definitely make changes that you need to and you're very intuitive and you know exactly where you're going and I do feel like with the king of pentacles here a lot of you guys will end up marrying or you end up will be a successful business owner of some kind. And I feel like it's through all this hard work and dedication that you guys have been going through. So yeah, you might be in the beginning of this path or you may already have all these things. This may be things you already went through, but I see a lot of success coming into your life, guys. All right, let me drink my drink. This is a really long reading. What are we up to? Almost an hour. Woof. All right. Moving on. Option number seven. All right. Number seven. What's going on? All right. What is your life purpose, guys? What are some of your gifts? What are some of your talents? Oh, yeah. Romance, guys. All right. So you guys are flirts, man. Okay. So, yeah. You guys definitely can make people fall in love with you. And someone's in love with you right now in the past. And someone will be in love with you very soon in the future. And, yes, this has something to do with your past. I don't know why, but it does. And you guys are really, like, good looking. You're really, like, sexy. I see, like, your hair. Something about you. Unique. And you have heat, you have aura of pink, purple. Something's very beautiful about you guys, for sure. Okay, so your emotions are healing right now, guys. It was just going to open you up to greater love. And you guys are releasing a lot of anger. And I feel like, because since you're releasing anger, you're becoming lighter and brighter. And you might be noticing that people are, like, really noticing you lately. And you guys are very protected by the angels. You guys are actually brilliant. You guys are actually extremely intelligent. You guys have a beautiful brain. I feel like... It may be your looks or your energy or your charm or that you're a like worker that draws people to you, but it's actually your beautiful intelligence and your ability to communicate and flirt possibly that really makes people do a double take. Also feel like you guys have like really seductive eyes. Like I know I don't know why it's to do with your purpose, but I also feel like you guys may be good at makeup. I just see such an aesthetic beauty coming from you guys. Um it's part of your life purpose. You guys yeah, you guys are really, really smart. You guys understand spirituality. You understand people. You understand situations. You guys know what's up. You guys know how to take back your power, too. You might have had a time period where you lost yourself in a relationship or almost lost yourself in a relationship, but this is for you guys to learn how to take back your power. And you're like, I feel like you guys were in a relationship or involved with somebody or had a situation where someone tried to tell you you were less of yourself, like they tried to make you feel like you were unlovable, when the reality was the complete opposite. So you guys took back your power and you're realizing, wow, people really do like me, okay? So I do see that you guys will have prosperity coming in your life. And you know what? Your love life is really important for your learning and for your growth. Every relationship has a value to you guys. See the shape shifting? You guys definitely know how to like shift your. Oh, oh, this is funny, but you guys definitely like you guys are masters of disguise. Like maybe you change like your hair color, or you wear wigs, or um, you guys love changing up your look. Like you know, if you're dating somebody, or you're talking to, or even just like running to men or women, whatever. Like they're like, well, you look different. You look good. Like people are always telling you, like, oh, I like this look. Like you guys are always up to something new with your looks, with your appearances. Like you guys definitely are um really great. I, like even like. I'm seeing makeup or hair, like, you know, just, just changing up your appearance and just being really creative or, you know, even like I'm seeing for a lot of you guys, um, decorating or just, you're really creative. Wow. And you're smart. You know, you know how to acknowledge the truth of the situation. Oh my God. We have shape shifting again. Look at this practice shape shifting. And then we have shape shifter. Oh wow. So you guys literally are shape shifters. Um, you guys actually are using the law of attraction to change your appearance. Like you may like, um, be like, oh, I wish my lips were fuller, my lips were fuller. And then all of a sudden, like, you may wake up, like, my lips look fuller today. Like, I swear you guys, I have, like, some sort of gift of, like, like, altering your appearance. And I do see that you guys, you know, transforming is revealing your gifts. And I feel like, wow, you guys are ladies, okay? So, 
Yeah, you guys are just tired. Late, you're you're completely know how to use your feminine energy to get exactly what you need. Um, even if you're a male, you know you know how to use your energy to get what you need. You know, even if you're a male, you may attract males in your life. You may have some feminine energy. That's okay. I do see that. You know, mountains. You guys really know how to stand your ground, and you guys have been through like feeling like worthless to feeling on top of the world. So you understand like that these feelings come and go, and these situations are temporary in life that make you hurt. And I feel like, yeah, you guys know how to lift blocks in other people's lives. You know how to see pe things for what they are. I'm also feeling like you guys may have had certain time periods where you feel like your path was blocked, like you couldn't move forward. But then you realize, like, okay, I'm only here because I'm meant to... You know, I feel like you guys, like, you 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 don't really like to feel stuck for long. You may have felt blocked, but you used your shape-shifting gifts to kind of just, like, get yourself in and out of different situations. You guys know how to talk to talk, walk the walk. You guys may be able to be able to teach classes. I honestly feel like you guys could be dating coaches or you guys could be like coaching people on like, you know, how to get what you want out of life or understanding men. Like you guys know how to understand men very well. You, you or other women or I don't know, you guys just you guys just are getting it. Some kind of social smart you have, um, insight, sociology kind of. You guys might be really smart at that. You could teach, you know, the art of um how to make people fall in love with you, the art of uh, you know, charm. You might be known for that. I feel like you guys are extremely creativity, creative as well. Sorry, <laughs> creativity. And I'm feeling like you guys are extremely authentic as well. It's because you know yourself, other people love you. And I feel like you could have some earth in your chart and you could have some Capricorn in your chart. Um, you know, I kind of see that because um, I have Venus Capricorn. And honestly, like, I kind of do feel like people are attracted to that energy because it's like a very, like, um, you know, a very cool, collected, like type of energy and people are really attracted to that and I also feel like for a lot of you guys um you could be an earth sign like you're not swayed by emotions and I feel like that's what makes you even though you're feminine that's what makes you very attractive because even if you're crazy about someone you know how to hold back and just let them do the work you guys get what I'm talking about okay I'm a number seven people you learn the art of like you know making people fall in love with you and I feel like could have some Scorpio energy as well or you attract a lot of Scorpios or you have some sort of Scorpio energy of just like you're sexy, guys. I'm sorry, but you got it. You know, sometimes you just got it, you know? And the devil here, the Capricorn is the devil. Like, so sexy again, like, you know, sexual energy coming through. And I feel like you guys will attract stability into your life. You guys know, because you're so independent, you, you attract so many people to you because you just don't need them. And I feel like people just love that. They want to have that stability with you. They want you to let them in. You guys have your walls up for sure. And I feel like that's going to be some of your karma. Like, you know, breaking down some of those walls you've built up. It's like, yes, you, you, you know how to talk to people, but do you know how to really let people in and know the real you? I feel like you are very authentic, but you're very shy. You know, um, when it comes to showing people your true, true, true heart, where your heart's really at. Yeah, I feel like you guys have been hurt by somebody like in your past. And you know what? You still know how to attract lovers into your life very easily, but you're not going to attract someone to your heart. You're like, I feel like with all these animals around you, like you're very overprotective over your, over your heart, you know? And you're also very overprotective about the people you care about. And I also feel like you guys may have two significant loves in your life. I don't know why that's coming through. And yeah, I don't know why. I just see that like being a major theme. Um, let's see why you guys are indecisive right now. Um, let's see. You're indecisive about your love life, I feel like. Guys, just play the field and see what happens. You don't have to know exactly what's going to happen. But I feel like, you know, what you guys want will be coming in. And I do see that, you know, a lot of people are going to try to get with you, be around you. But you guys know exactly how to get what you want. And you will get what you want. But don't forget you're healing as well right now. So that's a big part of your life. So that's what I got for my option number seven, people. You guys definitely, I knew you had the Venus energy in you as, as well. You guys know that we're all one. You know, you know, like you can see like a positive in everybody. You literally can make an impression on anybody. And you make people feel like loved. You know, you make people feel appreciated. And you're very intimate. And you know how to communicate. And, you know, you, you are very uh, empathetic. And you know how to connect with. I feel like that's part of why people really like you. Because you know how to connect with their heart. And I feel like, you know, but not everyone knows how to connect with yours. And I feel like that's what you're kind of looking for. Moving forward in a partner. So, yeah, that's what I see. All right, option number eight. Let's see what time we're at. 58. Okay, so option number eight, guys. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what some of your gifts are. What are some of your talents? So you guys definitely are realizing right now that you definitely need to higher your standards a little bit and reach for the stars because there is nothing you can't accomplish if you, don't, if you put your mind to it. And yeah, some of you guys may be feeling really indecisive, but you have to ask yourself, like, what path brings me closer to my purpose? And I feel like you guys need to... 
you know, you are in touch with what you are. So take action towards your passions. You guys know what your passions are. You know what your gifts are. And you know you're really talented. So I feel like you guys have a lot of restless energy. And maybe you're already going after your goals. So if you are, you know, maybe you need to get in the gym and release some energy. Because you guys are extremely motivated. And I feel like, yeah, you guys are learning to stand up for yourself and trust your instincts right now. Your instincts are going to lead you to where your passions are meant to be. Where your gifts are meant to um, you be used. And I feel like you guys love helping people. And by helping others, you really do help yourself. So continue to help others, guys. You will find yourself through helping others with your gifts. And I feel like, you know, you guys definitely have your ancestors that have your back. You guys have a connection to your ancestors. And I feel like you guys are knights as well. You're very brave. You could have had a past life as a knight. Um, your ancestors could have been warriors. I feel like the fall time is a really good time for you guys. Or you're born in the fall. Or you've dealt with people more in the fall. I don't know. Something about the fall time just being a really big time for change. Maybe coming up this fall, there's going to be some kind of... I, I kind of feel like there could be some love entering your life or someone born in the fall. And this could be this night energy as well. You guys are definitely meant to be some sort of agent or manager. I'm hearing talent agent or managing some sort of business or job. Um, yeah. Your work expands as you partner with a professional who can help you. Some of you guys may actually be partnering with a professional or somebody or a romantic partner. Maybe born in, in autumn as well. But you guys also are possibly the manager or the agent that can connect with other people and help them. The moon is here. So yeah, you guys are very unsure of yourself because you've been through ups and downs in your life but trust that fire in you trust that spark trust trust that passion because you guys with the three of cups here you're meant to mix work and pleasure i feel like you guys have a good time what you do you enjoy what you do and you will be connecting people i see business meetings going out with clients like connecting with people i see something positive coming out of human interaction but you're dealing with some heartache right now guys but don't worry the sun is the sun is coming like i feel like you've been through a lot of tough times recently your heart's broken over something but don't forget you guys have two two cups over here this the sun here you have your friendships and you have your purpose which can never stop you from finding your true happiness and yeah you guys are meant to have some sort of business or have something of value you guys definitely are meant to be like some sort of business owner or successful leader in in your own way i do see this so if, you, if you're still just hurting over something, don't forget to rest, guys. You guys are creative, and you are really good at collaborating with others. Again, we got the moon coming in, the moon energy. You guys intuitively know how to connect with other people. And I do feel like collaborating with others is going to help you be successful. And you're going to be successful in your own way as well. So networking, networking, networking. For a lot of you guys, your job has something to do with networking. And I do see, of course, eight is the business number. And you guys are very organized. So I see that you guys know how to take your job, your work very seriously. And you guys are multi-talented, so you can connect with others well. You're creative, but you're also knowing, you know how to organize things in a way in order to be successful and to prioritize them. So you know that everything has a rightful place. You guys are really practical, patient, truthful, committed, disciplined, systematic, and you're careful and you understand details. You pay attention to the details of things. So I do see that, you know, with the justice card here, you guys know that, you know, I feel like some of you guys may be dealing with the law as well, but you know that, you know, what you put out there, you get back. You guys believe in integrity and business practices that are right. You know, you do things the right way. It may be the harder way to do things, but you do things the right way and it will bring you the most success. And I do see a male energy coming in and supporting you on your path, whether it's a romantic partner or a business partner. It could be an air sign male or a male that's very intelligent that, that sees. Or I just see, like, maybe you guys are going to marry a lawyer or be involved with a lawyer. Or maybe you're a lawyer or maybe you're involved with the law. I don't know. I'm just seeing something about that coming in. Somebody who's really, like, focused on doing the right things or a very um, intelligent financial advisor or business. Somebody's going to come in that really, like, is really intelligent. They're going to help you with your career. That's the main message. So don't give up hope that there is people out there who want to help you on your path. The sun again. We literally have the sun coming in twice, guys. So yes, you guys will ha achieve happiness. And I feel like you're going to achieve happiness through your career and through your relationships with others. So if that's what you need to hear right now, that's awesome. But that's what I have for my option number eight, people. Honestly, you guys have the sun bolt sun card. So whatever you're doing, whatever you're going through, you're going to achieve happiness. Happiness, true happiness in your lifetime, which is... Honestly, not a lot of people get to do that because they don't understand how to. So you guys will achieve happiness through your career. And maybe you're struggling with your career right now. But it will all come together with the right timing. It's part of your destiny, guys. All right. Moving on. Option number nine. Number nine. All right. Let's see what's going on here. Let's see. What is your life purpose? What are your gifts? What are your talents? Here we go. So you guys definitely are working on visualizing what you want in order to bring it in. I feel like you guys... 
need to know that Archangel Michael is with you. Um, I feel like you guys might be feeling a little like vulnerable right now, but Archangel Michael, like you guys might want to make like a change in your life right now. You might be very afraid to do so, but the angels are helping you out with this change and they want you to have courage and, and, and have faith and hope because something very positive is on the horizon, especially in regards to your love life. So I feel like you guys might want to travel or meet a loved one that you could travel with or travel to a loved one. Now is definitely the time for you guys to be compassionate and reach out to loved ones because if you're going through a tough time, just know there is a silver lining. And I feel like a lot of you guys, your life purpose involves traveling. And I feel like you might have a soulmate out there that you might meet on a trip or that you could travel with possibly. And I just see that you guys will end up traveling in your life. And I feel like... Yeah, you guys definitely are really blessed. You might hate the fact that you are very innocent or pure-hearted or big-hearted or open-hearted person, but that's actually a gift of yours, guys. Even though you're hurting right now, just know that this is your compassion. Just let forgiveness flow through, guys. And I see that you guys, um, yeah, you guys definitely are very perceptive. You could have a lot of air in your chart, and um, you're almost, there's like not a thing you guys don't see, so I feel like sometimes... Wow, I have to say you guys have beautiful eyes because look at this. You guys also look good with piercings or jewelry, but look at her eyes. You guys may have like dark hair or really light eyes. Honestly, it's, you, have, you guys have like beautiful eyes. I just want to show you guys like it just stood out to me. Like you guys also like may like be making jewelry or good at jewelry or just wearing a lot of jewelry like it really suits you. I don't know why, but I just see that nose ring as well. But anyway, I feel like, yeah, you guys are just, like, have piercing eyes, like, that can definitely, like, make people double... Oh my gosh, look, we got traveling again. You guys are travelers as well. So I see you guys have a gypsy-esque um, thing to you. Move in a new direction. Some of you guys are actually, like, thinking about making a big move. And yeah, I definitely feel like this is the encouragement. You guys are meant to travel in your life. Your career revolves around traveling. Your soulmate may revolve around traveling. You know, and I feel like you might be feeling a little stagnant right now, but travel and travel are like, yeah, you cannot make up this, like, the synchronicities right now. So yeah, I feel like you guys, um, look, the elder card is here. You're moving beyond patterns. I feel like, you know, maybe you have people around you that are very rooted. They don't understand that, uh, like, you're your love for traveling or not staying put, but that's okay, guys. You know, this is your own path. And I feel like you guys definitely might be making a lot of changes around the spring. You could be born this spring. And I feel like you guys are like, you know, almost like rabbits. You like to just run and play and be free and, and grow in your own way. And I feel like, yeah, I feel like actually I'm taking this literally. So you guys just need a stage because you may be in toxic situations or work environments or a home environment that's toxic to, you know, stage and, and, and clear negative energy around you. And I feel like, yeah, you guys definitely are, like, you want to be a free spirit. You want to run with the wolves. You want to, you guys are loners, you know. And I'm also seeing that some of you guys are singers or artists in some way. And you guys definitely need to focus on the law of attraction more because maybe you're at that point where you don't believe that if you travel or you can have that career of your dreams, but you definitely can. And just keep going, guys. And also, if you have a gift or talent, some of you guys are painters. Uh, some of you guys are writers, artists. The more you practice your skills, the more confident you become, no matter what your skills are. You guys deserve, you know, happiness, health, and love, and you will have all those things. So you guys may have a lot of one in your chart. You're very sensitive and artistic. And you guys may have Pisces in your chart, or your soulmate could be a Pisces, and this is just coming in. I'm seeing that you guys, you know, you're, you're willing to learn, but I see like there's a lot of things you don't see right now. I think a lot of people will try to pursue you romantically, but you guys will know when you meet the one because this person will encourage you to, to, to really be your true self, really be your best self. And yeah, I feel like you guys just are really learning and growing right now. And I feel like you guys just need to let go of your fears right now. And that's what I kind of see. And I'm also seeing that for a lot of you guys, like you have Pisces energy in you. Like you want to be playful, creative and free and you want to be impulsive or become this knight of wands. Like, you guys need to become these knight of wands. Stop taking life so seriously. Just go out there, have fun. Like, have some flings. Get to know new people. Enjoy your life. And I feel, you know, with the ace of wands here, like, excitement. Follow your excitement. You guys might be really bored right now. You need to learn, grow, and stop holding back. Stop holding on to your money. Like, have fun. Travel. Be the free spirit person you know you are. I feel like you guys are extremely intelligent, and you could be ending up in some kind of engineering field. And I'm also seeing that, you know, you guys have both foot in the earth world and one foot in the spiritual world. So you know how to remain practical, even if you're traveling. You guys know how to learn from your experiences. And you know how to administer things to, like, the way you want them to be. And I feel like you're very dedicated and you're organized and you're technical and you're smart. And you're, some of you guys bordering on genius. So I feel like, you know, you know how to create the life that you want. But some of you guys really need to leave something behind. Maybe it's actually a metaphorical traveling away from something. And it could be a loved one in your past that's no good for you. You could be, you know... 
But some you guys definitely need to move away from something right now. And you're scared to do it, but it's time to do it. And that's what I get from my option number nine, people. That's the main message coming through. But traveling definitely has something to do with your life purpose. You guys have beautiful eyes, though. Wow. Or there might be, like, something about the eyes. Or you, honestly, I'm getting some of you guys know how to read people from their eyes as well. Like, I'm just getting that you guys understand the eyes are the window to the soul. And I see something substantial about eyes coming in. So let me know what that means to you guys. Um, leave me a comment below. All right. Moving on. Option number 10. Let's see what's going on. What's your life purpose? Why are you here? What advice can we get for you guys? All right, my option number 10, people. What's going on? All right, so here we go. Whatever's going on in your life, guys, keep charging ahead. Keep believing in yourself for sure. You guys are definitely going through a spiritual awakening right now. And you guys have a gift of helping other people through their spiritual awakenings. And you guys are... Definitely overcoming some um, relationship difficulties right now. Don't worry. It could be with a career or it could be with a love relationship, but have courage. Right now, you are meant to have courage in your life right now. And I feel like, yeah, it is a time for a new adventure for you guys. So it might be time to get out of a, a situation and head towards a new career, especially if you're dealing with a lot of difficulties. And I'm seeing you guys have a gift of using intuition and intellect to make decisions. So charge ahead if you know what's right for you. And it's time to be adventurous and play. It's definitely time to make some changes. And I feel like you guys, um, some of you guys have someone wise in your life that really wants to help you out all the time. Trust this person knows what they're talking about. I feel like some of you guys, it could be a grandmother. It could be um, a mentor. It could be a coach. It could be a therapist. It could be a mother figure. You guys definitely have a wise one um, in your life, a wise person, male or female, that wants to help you out with your current situation. And they're giving you this advice. And I feel like you guys, you know, be an archer, you know. I always tell people like the imagery of an arrow, like you always got to pull it back a little bit for it to move forward. So sometimes in life, you may feel like you're going five steps back, but that might be just the direction you need to go to go to, to be catapulted forward towards your goals. And you guys do have a guardian angel around you. And I feel like this angel could be this wise one that helps you out with your life, or it could be you have a wise one and an angel around you, like in spirit form. You guys definitely have a connection to your angels. And honestly, you guys definitely have a spirit animal as well. And I feel like you guys know how to gain that higher perspective. So trust that. And I feel like you guys see things that people don't see. You guys definitely want to start a new project, new career. Go for it. You may be having a hard time finding the motivation right now, but I feel like, you know, you need to just go for it. Some of you guys want to start a career in social media, um, YouTube, Instagram. I just see media, social media or TV, acting, film. You can reach more people by working with video, audio, print, and online media. So there you guys go. That could be a hint for some of you guys. Go online. You may find some success online. You never know, you know, and I see Mother Mary's energy with you as well. The Blessed Mother is helping you with divine purpose. We're getting so much mothering energy that I feel like there's someone in this, in this lifetime that really mothers you right now. And I feel like there could be an angel that mothers you or a guardian angel. But I definitely see this energy coming in. I feel like you guys know what I'm talking about. You guys could have Gemini in your chart or you guys could be attracting Gemini energy into your life right now. I feel like you guys are going through communication. Okay. It's actually what I'm getting. I, I see that um, Pluto and okay. So yeah, you guys definitely need to improve your communication. I'm seeing you're definitely going through a transformation right now where you're learning how to improve your communication so you can get out there and get out there and really show people who you truly are with this new project, new career, this new adventure or this social media thing that you guys want to do. And I see you guys got the whole world of opportunity out there. The Queen of Swords is there, so you guys are definitely learning how to become more intelligent, embrace your intellect. You guys could be an air sign as well. That's why we have Gemini here. You can be Aquarius, um, Cancer, Libra, Gemini. Cancer just came in. You could have Cancer in your chart. Hence the mothering energy. Oh, or the mothering person in your life could have Cancer in their chart. And I do see that coming in. Or an air sign as well. I do see this somebody has your back, okay? Could be a friendship as well. Some of you guys are, are experiencing, like, heart, hardship with your relationships, family relationships, work relationships. Don't worry, guys. Just jump towards the new adventure, guys. You don't have to hold back right now. And I feel like your your life purpose involves around starting these new projects and being involved with media and hunting towards your goals and seeing things for what they are and having a mothering en energy. I feel like someone's going to mother and nurture you. It's going to inspire you to mother and nurture others. And I do see you guys are queens and your teachers. So embrace that. You guys are unique souls. You may love unicorns. And I see that to know is to grow. You guys believe in educating others. And you guys seek out also teachers in your own life. And I feel like this is what helps you. And I feel like you guys are really knowledgeable. You're very smart. You love to grow. And you're very generous. And I feel like continue on with that energy. You guys definitely will be teachers in your lifetime. 
and you will use whatever outlet you need to to teach, whether it's in a classroom or on social media, wherever you feel drawn to, guys. But you guys have a destiny to be a teacher and a queen. You guys are definitely empowered feminine leaders. You care about feminine rights, feminine movements. I feel like you guys definitely have a gift of um, connecting with women and women really love you, respect you. And I feel like that's part of your life purpose as well. Some of you guys may actually be, you know, um, believing in um, equal rights and, and human rights and, 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 you know, for men and women alone. But I feel like it's a very mothering energy coming out of you guys. So that's what I see for my option a number nine people. I mean, 10, sorry. All right, moving on to option number 11. Last but not least, boy, is this a long reading, guys. Thank you so much for making it to the end. Or, of course, if this is the only card you picked, you just click to this timestamp. But number 11. This is a long reading, all right? Bear with me on this. Last but not the least, 1111, master number 11. All right, let's see what's going on here. All right, so you guys might be feeling a little confused right now, right? Because you don't have enough information to really move forward on something, but just wait it out because something involves a marriage going on in your life right now. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Okay, you guys are definitely going through a cycle right now. You guys are indigo and crystal children. You do have a bond with children. And I feel like there's something going on revolving around marriage, a past marriage, a future marriage, something going on here. And also, just to let you guys know, you have a bond with animals as well. And I feel like, you know, if you have an animal that passed on, this animal is doing okay and well, so don't worry about that. You guys are psychic. You have the gift of clairaudience right now, but I do feel like you need a little bit of therapy. Um, angel therapy. Like, give your problems to the angels. I feel like you guys are feeling a little unstable right now. You're not really sure where to go. And I feel like it's because you could have went through a breakup right now and... You have to listen to your angels, guys. You, you know, I feel like you've got the power to go through whatever it is that you're going through. And, you know, I feel like if you're a teacher or a leader, those people are like your children to you and they look up to you. And I feel like a lot of you guys have actual children that you look up to. So just go out and have fun and be creative and enjoy your life, guys, because you deserve to have fun. You deserve to have a good time. Like stop being so hard on yourself and just be patient because a reward is coming for you. You guys could have a gift of reading Oracle or you guys have a gift of just seeing the future and hearing the angels. And I feel like right now the angels are trying to tell you something. So also, like I said before, you guys have animal guardians as well. And I feel like you guys are really a bright source of inspiration in people's lives. So don't forget that you guys may have a gift of editing. Like you guys may be really good at grammar or just like writing or um, or somebody like wants to help you out or just I don't know why but I'm just seeing like someone might edit like your work for you moving forward I don't know this is coming in but some of you guys may actually be editors I see you guys have divine guidance coming in it's going to bring you to more prosperity but you guys are focused on perfectionism and you guys also have a dream of like I mean you guys have a dream you want to follow yes but your dreams are trying to tell you something so please pay attention to your dreams guys because you guys are oracles and you have extreme psychic gifts and through your creative abilities just going out having fun you will share your knowledge with others. And I feel like you will make it through whatever you're going through. You could be a Sagittarius or have Sagittarius in your chart. And I feel like with the air here, oh yeah, you guys are very smart. You could also have Aquarius in your chart or Gemini or Libra. But I do see Sagittarius energy coming for you guys. So I feel like you guys may rush into relationships quickly or something. Or you may have rushed into a relationship quickly in the past. And now you're dealing with that moving forward. You could have children with this person. Or you could have wanted children with that person. But... I think the angels are helping you like they've been trying to tell you all these signs here and you need to pay attention to those signs a little bit more because you're so good at reading the omens for everybody else so it's time for you guys to focus on those omens for your own goals and I feel like yes um focus on yourself right now be a hermit it's time for you guys to be a hermit and realize that you are this empress you are this leader you are this great teacher and yeah I feel like you guys were just lying to yourself about something like accepting less than you deserve and I feel for a lot of you guys, you are really great nurturers and you are extremely intelligent. You know how to market things, plan things out in order to create the best successful outcome. And you have a plan and you have a vision and you guys will achieve those visions and you're very calculating, you're very passionate and you're very goal oriented, very persistent. But the thing is sometimes guys, I feel like you use this, this strategy and this nurturing energy to kind of like get what you want. But I feel like sometimes you have to realize like that, like just because you know how to get something like somebody in your life to pay attention to you or whatever, doesn't mean it's the right thing to do. So I feel you guys are kind of learning right now that, you know, you could strategize to win back your ex or you could strategize to, you know, do something corrupt. But the, at the end of the day, I feel like you guys are learning right now. You want to use those powers for good. You know, you want to use those powers, not to feed the ego, but to feed your purpose, which is to help children, to help and Everybody, even older than you, so you're the same age or younger than you, that we are all God's children here. So it may not literally mean children, but I feel like you guys definitely have a gift here. But I feel like you guys know how to get what you want. 
and you might have like used that to try to like win over somebody and it just didn't go well for you. I don't know why I'm getting that because I feel like you're just indecisive about our relationship, but maybe it's time to move forward. Let's get some advice here. Yeah, two of cups, five of swords. Yeah, mind games. Don't be doing any of that, guys. Or you just attracted somebody who was like that. But I feel like, yeah, you do have a traditional relationship coming in. You don't have to manifest or use love spells or do anything like that to bring that person in, guys. It's just going to happen naturally. See, the lovers is here. Like, you guys are attractive. You're beautiful. And part of you doesn't believe that. And I feel like that's what ran you into a lot of problems in the past. But you guys are extremely beautiful. And, you know, the right person will come towards you. And I feel like what you guys you have to realize, what you are attracting in a relationship is a reflection of yourself. So if you feel X about your ex, like if you feel, feel your ex is a, you know, you're not a great person, then what aspect of yourself mirrored that person's energy? And that's what I'm kind of saying. Like, they just want you to reflect a little bit because you guys are great teachers and you have so much potential to do so many great things in the world. And I feel like, you know, something's coming through about this. Let's see what else the angels have to say. Yeah, I feel like you guys need to allow yourself to be vulnerable. I feel like you guys will show the world your vulnerability, retreat for a little bit, and open your heart up to new love. You guys need to nurture yourself, and I feel like um, detox and let go from whatever it is in the past that you've been trying to hold on to, because I feel like you angels are trying to help you out right now, and this is coming through very strong. So that's what I get for my option number um, 11, people. And I feel like, honestly, like... You guys already know your gifts, you know your talents, so use that to go after your goals. I kind of feel like a lot of you guys were prioritizing a relationship over yourself, and I feel like the angels are like, you already know your gifts, you already know your purpose, you already know your talent. It's just that you need to just trust that the right person will come through for you and listen to your angels more. And yeah, divine guidance is leading you towards prosperity, and you guys know this already, so if you're feeling indecisive right now, just go inward and retreat. That's what you're meant to do, just retreat a little bit, and then move towards your goals, because you will end up exactly where you need to be. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave me a comment, thumbs up, and I hope you enjoy your day and night whenever you get to this reading, guys. Love you so much. Let me end this video. It's the longest video of my life. Bye.